so because it's in my debug folder i don't need to give the, this long path but if you are your database is outside your debug folder or is a bit away from your exe file folder then you can give the path also so write data source is equal to database dot db which is my database name then semicolon version is equal to 3 semicolon and double quote so write this line at the top now in this button click event for login page what I will do is I will create a connection with my SQLite database so write this line here So first declare this SQLite connection, write SQLite connection and give it a variable name SQLite con in my case is equal to new SQLite connection and here in this argument of this SQLite connection you will pass this connection string variable here. So this just copy this and paste it here and then just copy this SQLite connection variable here and write dot open now here we can also provide this try catch block so if this data base faces the some exception then it will catch the exception catch and just give this and here you can write exception ex and in here you can give the message box dot show and in the bracket just copy this ex and dot message okay now in this try catch block after this SQLite con dot open what we need to do is we need to pass our query so so here we will write this line so write string and give it a variable name because it's uh, it is my query string so i will write query is equal to then i will pass my query so i will write select star from employee info which is my table name of my database so this is the table and this is called employee info that's why i have written here so select star from employee info where username so my column here is called username so i have written where username is equal to then write this single quote and inside double quote and inside this give this plus sign and write this dot text underscore username dot text this is my text box name so this text box name is text underscore username so that's what I have written here this dot text underscore username dot text okay and then after this end of this single quote write and password is equal to single quote double quote plus and then I will write this dot text underscore password dot txt this is my text box name of for the password right so I have written this query then in the next line I will cre create the command for this query so I will write this line write SQLite command and give it a variable name create command is equal to new SQLite command and in the argument of this SQLite command just pass this query variable as a first argument and 
write this sklite con variable as a second argument so write this line now in the third line I will write here these two lines so I will execute this query now so write create command which is my this sklite command variable dot execute non query and bracket and bracket close and declare a new variable called sklite data reader and give it a variable name called dr for data reader is equal to create command dot execute reader and bracket and bracket close in the next line for login page I am uh, creating an integer called count is equal to zero and then I will create a while loop so I will write while bracket and bracket close from here and in this while loop I will copy this dr variable from here and then I will write dot a read and here close these brackets and now in this I what I will do is I will copy this count int variable and I will do plus plus and bracket closed okay now after this while loop what I will do is I will create a condition so what condition I'm going to create is write if and give it just close this first if condition and first of all write if count is equal to 1 then I will pass some message which shows like this so in this if condition I have written message box dot show username and password is correct so what I am doing is I am writing or entering the username and password and I'm passing this query to query the database and it goes to the while loop and it searches for the username and password and while in the while loop it increases if it's fine it finds the username and password and if it finds the username and password once then your username and password is correct and I will just copy this condition to good time more so one and two and if this count is greater than one then you will write duplicate username and password and you can also write try again right and if this count is smaller than one then you can write username and password is not correct okay so that is your code for the login page okay so now we are going to run the code now so run this code and first of all we will just see the table what we have in the username and password so I have three employees right now and first employee username and password is one and one second employee username and password and username is two and two and in the third employee my username and password is one and one again so this is a duplicate username and password which I created uh, for a reason to show this demonstration so now when I run the program and it's running and I write here one and one username and password and I click here 
login it shows me duplicate username and password why because this username and password is present two times and two employees cannot have the same username and password that's why i have given this condition now when i write here two and two employee id then it says me username and password is correct because it's present only once and username and password is correct and when i give here three and some random value and i click it says me username and password is not correct okay so now your login page is basically working right you just need to change this username content if you want so it will look good and here also password just change the content so now it's looking better okay so in this way you can create a login page for your WPF C sharp application using your SQLite database. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.